Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food, and I don't know if it's summer or humidity or heat, but like anything electronic just doesn't seem to be working well. So here I am, I was waiting for the record button to light up. Here I am wearing my bathrobe from Miss Joyce, my pearls. Doesn't everybody wear pearls with their bathrobes? Come on guys. And um, it is mid-summer. How are you doing? Oh boy, there's always challenges, right? And uh, I'm sure that some of us have faced them. What you, what I hope for you is that you get to the place before the efforts and you throw in the towel and you say, I'll start up again in the fall. I hope that's not where you're at. I know it can be very, very difficult to follow the keto food plan. And, and you wonder why? Well, it's just, it's just, sometimes it's just too hard. Day after day after day. I know I see people down here and, um, you know, the, the temptations are everywhere. Is, is everything, is everything about life, about the alcohol, adult beverages and the, and the food temptations? It's crazy. It's difficult. It's everywhere, the smells, the sights, the sounds, the sounds of people going, oh my God, it's stripping all down my hands and it's not a burger, right? Because if it was a burger, you'd be eating it probably with a knife and fork and not in that bready bun. So, you know, kudos to you if you are being strict and following it and, and just, you know, having success and even you know, success can be just staying even. That's how I look at it. You have your coffee? Mm -mm -mm. I've got mine, my first of the day. I'm prepping to go Ubering. Life is good. I hope that um, I hope that you are planning your food and, and having it be successful for you. Um, you know, I still use my chronometer. Thank you for all of you that explained what the uh, bonuses are if you get the um, the paid for one versus the free one. Um, it just seems that the, the bonus one, if you're that into the analytics and sharing recipes with family and stuff like that, I guess it would be a good idea. Um, I'm happy. I, I, I guess I just have the free one now. I used to have the paid one. But so all is well. For me, I, um, I am going to go meat shopping today. I turn off my driving apps and I dart into BJ's and um, then either Stop and Shop or Star and, um, you know, load up um, Greg's Berries, my meat, my meats, my meats, and um, I'm happy for the day. Um, the pizza crust, the uh, fathead pizza crust is on the uh, top of the stove cooling for later today. I am learning how to use my stove. It goes from raw to overcooked in a second. <laughs> so I have to be very careful. There's an adjustment. Yeah. Um, you know, I guess I was used to my old stove. And uh, so it, it'll still work. A well done crust is a well done crust as far as I'm concerned. It's funny, the bottom is still, it's not well done, but the top kind of is. I don't get that. But anyway, it'll be covered with goodies and gooey and, and oh so fathead. And so that part I like. If you don't know what a fathead pizza is, if you're new, Google fathead or on your YouTube channel above it goes search and put fathead pizza. I also have a couple of videos on it. My recipes um, for it get tweaked often. I have more um, meat on the top of mine and less almond flour on the bottom of mine. So, um, but that, uh, Google the fathead pizza and you will get the basics of the crust and what will work for you in cooking it. I've got mine fine tuned. I could do it in my sleep, but I'm not going to. Um, so with our keto and carnivore, we just keep tweaking and discovering what it is that works for us, what keeps us full or satiated or content or not craving or not being vulnerable to triggers all day 
long. Some people begin with breakfast and have two other meals besides that. Some people do two meals a day, having their having like coffee first and then a, a meal at noon. Other people um, are like me. They have OMAD. Other people do alternative day fasting. And I think that is fascinating where they have um, truly a great big meal and then they don't eat the next day. And then the following day, they have a great big meal. And um, the ones that do it love it. They're totally adapted to it. And it sounds marvelous. Um, and uh, I think that would be that would be the next thing I would do if I was going to do anything. But right now, I'm happy with my um, 95, 96, 97% carnivore food plan. Um, I have the almond flour on Saturdays in my fathead pizza. I'm down to just Brussels sprouts on the big green egg day on Sunday. And then I have like a tablespoon or two of chopped green onions in my scrambled eggs during the week, Monday through Friday. My eggs took the place of the veggies and the salad when I gave those up and absolutely no regrets about giving them up. Um, my, I guess my tummy was ready. I, it, It's not something that I aimed for. It's just something that happened. Um, so every now and then I get new subbies that, that comment. Um, I think that's great. I'm glad you're here. Uh, what I talk about here is how my journey goes and what works for me. Sometimes, um, sometimes you're not there yet. And so it doesn't seem like it's matching or fitting, um, especially if you're still having veggies, especially if you're still having berries on occasion, especially if you're having um, some sort of starch like a rice or a sweet potato or something like that. Some people do that. In the interview that I listened to on Human Performance Outliers with Cole Robinson, the snake man, snake diet man, he was having, he has, hi honey, are you going fishing? Yep. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I, I started the video because... Um, no, it's not stopped. I'm talking right now. Okay, love you. He's going fishing. It's 4 a.m. I'm getting ready to do my Uber and Lyft. Um, and so we start off. It's it's 4.04 4 4 on uh, a Saturday as I record this. And we have our busy, our busy days. And it just works. We get up early. We go to bed early. And that, and that works. And I still do... Um, the overnights at the police department as well. So some of you got to uh, look at Greg. That's great. I like that. So that that's what I'm doing here. Um, I, I I don't have the urge to have things I'm not supposed to. I guess I'm just so used to food as fuel, delicious, satiating, fatty meats as fuel that I'm happy. I have no other reason to do anything different at this point. <clears throat> I know that um, when some people travel or they have company, it gets rather difficult. I know that um, there's a lot of, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a lot of accommodations that need to be made. If you can just stay in your lane and keep your focus as it was when nobody was around you and you could do your food program and just be happy for it, it what a, what a wonderful place to be, you know, when you can't. Um, do your food program, just things go awry. I know that. And then listening to Mike's heartfelt video about his, I think it was like five weeks with his parents before his brother took over, you know, it just got harder and harder to do what he had to do. And he gave, he gave the, um, he gave the uh, scenario of when he went to have his saturated flautas or something like that. I'm not familiar with um, Southwestern foods as, as much as he probably is living there all that time and how it just built and built and he, he just planned it and he just did it. Um, I hear that, you know, I have, I have a rare and appropriate um, popcorn, maybe every six months. It was kind of funny. It was kind of, um, karmic or uh, God laughing at me or whatever it was. But Greg and I went to the walk-in movie 
it's been about six months. And so I was so excited. I melted my um, Kerrygold butter into my little um, glass spill proof baby food jar that I got from um, Amazon. So I was so excited to bring in my real butter and um, the line, they had one person working in concessions and it was the opening of Pet Story 2 or something like that. So the line was out the door. So after waiting for the line that's out the door for the tickets, then you got to wait for the line that's out the door for the concession. I waited 10 minutes and gave up. I thought it was going to go out of my mind without my rare and appropriate every six month treat. Um, so I, I couldn't stand it. I hoped that the line had dwindled by then. I went back out. Same thing. So it's like, I kind of laughed. It's like, okay, God, you don't want me to have my rare and appropriate. Okay, I get it. So I didn't. And I came home and I used the butter. Um, I had a burger planned, my messy burger, so I could use that to cook the burger in. And um, that was that. But it was just, it was a funny moment. So I've not had my rare and appropriate now for like seven months. So um, yes, I do plan my rare and appropriate. And that's, that's, just about it. There is one other thing that pulls at me when I see the ad on TV. It's something that people like to have in the summer. And I haven't had um, one of those um, four or five years because it contains sugar. And um, I'm amazed at that, actually. <laughs> so my rare and appropriate is the um, grain popcorn. and um, But it hasn't been had for like seven months. It was the dead of winter the last time. Um, and so I'm a better person for it, I guess, you know, if that's how we look at it. But be careful um, if you are going to have something and, um, you know, you're aware of your surroundings. Um, adult beverages might not make you um, as strong as you, as you might be. So just be aware of the circumstances and the surroundings if you're planning a rare and appropriate and um, and then get weak. So, you know, one rare and appropriate is something and planned. Um, another thing is to just dive in and binge, which was my MO all the time at any social event. My MO was binge. I just got numb in the head. There was no restraints. There was no, there was, <laughs> There was no Sarah saying, come on, Ms. Slick, back off, out of here, go wait in the car. There was none of that. Um, I was just a, a train wreck when it came to um, foods I shouldn't have eaten, um, even when I was allowing them. So just be careful out there. Summer is a big, one big season of temptations. And I want to see all of you safe and on track and on goal and... Um, liking yourself, respecting yourself, proud of yourself. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Sarah with another summer cautionary tale. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye for now.